with a movie director today about a brand new independent feature film shot in Hartford called Midas. It will be released at the end of this month. Here's part of the trailer. Talking about insurance fraud. I'm sorry, you told him what? Ricky actually just graduated from Harvard. What was your major? Excuse me? Welcome to Claims. Could you elaborate on what we do? Experimental treatments can range anywhere from, what, 100K to a million bucks? This is different than faking a resume or lying what school you went to. This is a real crime. You'd go to jail. All right, my guest is director T.J. Noel Sullivan, a Hartford-based filmmaker. Welcome. Thank you so much for having me. All right, I love this movie. It's going to be in theaters at the end of the month where? June 28th, it'll be in Hartford, Westbrook, and hopefully a couple other cinemas around the state as well. All right, how exciting. You went to school to be a filmmaker, and you are one. I know. Um, why Hartford? You know, I think a lot of people are asked, you know, why you want to make movies. And for me, I'm very much a product of Hartford. I graduated from Hartford Public Schools. And after I spent some time in L.A., I decided I really wanted to come back and make movies here in Hartford. Uh, and so having the opportunity to do that is such a blessing. All right, so um, you're only going to shoot in Hartford, or will you take the rest of the state we'll, kind of as well? We'll take the rest of the state. We've done some cool projects since we shot Midas. We've done some cool projects all around the state um, and looking forward to showcasing all the state has to offer. All right, tell me about Midas, the film. Where did, where did the idea come from, and where are these actors from? I thought they were great. Yeah, our cast are incredible. Um, the idea actually came, I had this idea for a heist film that became about more than just the money because I love movies like Ocean's Eleven, but also was kind of wondering, what about if it was more than just the money that they're stealing? Uh, and it really clicked when I decided to set it in Hartford, the health insurance capital of the world, and realized, oh, the perfect mark is a health insurance company. Uh, and so had so much fun with our cast. They came in from all across the country. We also had some really talented local actors as well. Uh, and so it really showcases the, the best that Hartford has to offer. All right, you're a young guy. What's it like to be a director and command others? I think having a crew that believes in you is so important uh, because, you know, when making a movie, we had 40 people on set that all were working towards a singular vision. So you're employing all those people. Yeah. You know, we employed all um, 40 local cast and crew um, and also worked with over a dozen small businesses who are actually featured in the movie, but also gave us some of the food and housing for our uh, crew. And so it's really a special opportunity to get to bring these, this group of people together and make something. And it is a process. You know, we shot two years ago, and so it's a process to edit it, sell it, and, and bring it out into the world. But it's a really rewarding moment to actually have that happen. Well, you're actually doing it. All right, so um, where did the idea come from to be a filmmaker as a little kid? What, take me through this. Yeah, so I actually, there's a Real Art Ways is a nonprofit in Hartford and they hosted a summer program teaching high school kids filmmaking. And I went to that program before my senior year of high school and I absolutely loved it. And that was kind of the moment I said, I want to study this in college. Um, and it's really cool. Real Art Ways is going to be one of the cinemas that uh, opens the film on June 28th. And so it's kind of a full circle moment to nine years later after I learned filmmaking there to be coming back and showcasing the film there. What was your budget for this film? I can't say, okay. but I will say that <laughs> it, was, it really was a, a community effort. Okay. You know, for we estimate that for every single dollar in cash we had, we had twice that in donations from people that get donated food, awesome. gear, locations. It really was incredible to uh, bring it all together. All right, and TJ, what's the end goal? To go to Hollywood, stay in the East Coast, make major films independently, what, what's the goal? Yeah, so we started, with the, we started the Hartford Film Company to make films here in Hartford. Um, and we think that there will always be the Hollywood connection. Our distributor is out in Hollywood and has helped distributing this film all across the country. But for me, the dream is to be able to make movies here in my home state and showcase all we have to offer. I love it. I intend to follow your career. And like I said to you, make Connecticut famous. Thank you so much. <laughs> all right. And if you'd like to know more about the film Midas and the Hartford Film Company, go to WTNH.com or the News 8 app.